Alex Krashuk, the manager of Alexander Usyk, was on a live phone call with Frank Warren, and he said Frank Warren and his people did everything they could do. In other words, he's saying Tyson Fury doesn't want the fight. Frank Warren even said Tyson Fury, oh, he's got sparring partners. He flew in his trainer, and I thought uh, Tyson Fury and Sugar Hill had split it ways, but apparently not because Sugar Hill did an interview, and I believe he said, I haven't been up there. He's working with um, a Coley or somebody. So he, he said he hasn't flown up there. And if he's not working with Tyson Fury, it seems like he would have said, I'm not working with Tyson Fury. What's really going on? It's getting to the point, I'm going to just call Alexander Usyk the uh, undisputed champion at this point because it's like Alex Krashuk was saying, you know, if you want the fight, you make the fight. That's basically what he was saying, you know. Um, you tell that you're in charge. You're in charge as the fighter. You're the boss. You know, there's contracts and all that and the numbers and stuff like that, but you're in charge. You're the fighter. You're supposed to tell your people who you want to fight and maybe who you don't want to fight. So in this case, is Tyson Fury not wanting to fight Lucy? What's going on? Is he injured? Does he want more time? Is uh, the 29th of next month too close? What exactly is going on? Because it doesn't matter who has the belts. It matters who the public sees as the best heavyweight. And right now, I'm saying Usyk is the top guy. I said it was Tyson Fury, but you know, if Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight Usyk, that's telling me a lot. That's saying that he sees something in Usyk that he's not liking. And he doesn't seem like he's up for the challenge. Looks like Deontay Wilder wants to step in and possibly fight Alexander Usyk. I think even Andrew Ruiz. Uh, I saw that these videos were uh, on uh, Counter Punch Boxing News with uh, Kurt. What's up, Kurt? Doing a great job keeping us informed. Andy Ruiz and Alexander Usyk, that would be interesting, but I'd have to favor Alexander Usyk because he's the busier fighter, and I thought Ruiz's chin was a lot more solid than what it really is. I think Usyk has the better chin. I think Usyk is too much for Deontay Wilder, too much ring IQ, he stays in the gym. This guy loves to train. This uh, coach James Bashir, who worked with Alexander Usyk for three years when he was a cruiserweight, he was saying that Alexander Usyk is a, a workaholic, you know. He stays in the gym. Great, great fighter. He'll be remembered as an all-time great when he retires. And if he doesn't fight Tyson Fury, like I said, I believe the mandatory is Daniel Dubois. Who wants to see that? Usyk's too much for Dubois. And then there'll be a whole list of other fighters and then belts will get split up and we probably won't get undisputed. But I believe Usyk wanted to retire after he beats Tyson Fury. So I don't know if he cares about a rematch clause or what, but I believe he wants to retire after that. I don't think he wants to fight like 10 guys and then get Fury. But Frank Warren's still saying the fight can be negotiated. In fact, he told Alex Krashuk after their uh, conversation, we can talk after this interview and they both agree that they're not gonna negotiate over the air. Um, why not? If you got nothing to hide, why not do it over there? <laughs> but both guys agreed to it, but I'm just gonna start saying Alexander Usyk is the undisputed champion because what, what can you do if a guy doesn't wanna fight you? You're willing to fight, you're willing to go in there and uh, risk your belt risk your health. I'm just going to say Alexander is undisputed. And maybe if enough of us in the public start saying that Alexander Usyk is an undisputed heavyweight champion, maybe that will force Tyson Fury to get in the ring and put his money where his mouth is, so to speak. 
all the talking and all that, it's only going to get you so far. People are looking through that. Um, I believe even Anthony Joshua got in the mix saying like pretty much you see what I had to deal with when I was negotiating with uh, Tyson Fury. I just think at this stage of his career, maybe he doesn't, um, maybe he doesn't want a tough fight. And if you don't want a tough fight, you know, then, you know, that's, uh, I won't say it's understandable, especially when you're uh, talking like you want the tough fight. But if you don't want the tough fight, stop trying to, you know, talk that talk, you know. What's the big deal about the rematch clause anyway? Frank Warren said something about a payday, like we're not going to pay him twice. Why not? It ain't. Is it coming out of your pocket, what you're pulling out your wallet? I mean, basically making a fight is as simple as, um, hey, man, you want to fight? Yeah. You want to fight? Yeah. Sign the paper. Cool. How much you want to get? Cool. How much I want to get? Cool. Done deal. What's that take? What? Maybe 10 minutes tops? Look how quick people fight in the street. What you looking at, homie? What you looking at, man? Smack. There's a fight. Look how quick that happened. But, um, you know, in professional sports, we have to go through the media. We have to sit in a room with a bunch of people in suits and ties that probably never stepped in the ring. We, it's just a whole bunch of nonsense. It's not that tough to make a fight happen. And I know there's promotional companies, like I said, that involve, it involves the money and all that kind of thing. But, um, okay. Everybody's going to get a tons load of money. So like, like what is everybody wait? What are you guys waiting for? You guys just want the Brinks truck backed up to your personal garage. I mean, you're already rich anyway. How much money do you need? That's what, you know, to see a bunch of rich people sitting here arguing over money is ridiculous. And the fact that um, I think Fury's a little mad that Usyk kind of called his bluff by agreeing to 70-30 because it's showing like Usyk's like, OK, I'm going to show that you don't want to fight. I'm going to agree to your crazy deal. And he did it. And Fury's still not trying to get in the ring. So, <laughs> you know, he uh, he kind of called his bluff. Usyk just wants to prove himself. And he wants, he just wants to fight. He wants to fight. And as a fighter, shouldn't you want to fight? Don't you want to prove you're the best? Or do you just want to uh, go on social media and show your training footage and talk, you know, call the other guy names, which is ridiculous. The public is tired of it. Boxing has become verbal. We want physical. It's all this back and forth and negotiations. Eddie Hearn's got something to say. Frank Warren's got something to say. Get in the ring. Talk afterwards. Or talk at the press conferences. We don't want to hear anymore. Well, this clause and this clause, and he didn't want to sign it. Because if he signed it here, then that would mean that he would get this percentage. Dude, nobody cares. If we cared about that stuff, all of us boxing people out here would be lawyers because we'd be interested in the numbers. I don't care about the numbers. Only numbers I care about is what the fighters weigh when they go to the weigh-in and who threw how many punches. That's the only numbers I care about. I don't care about who's getting paid what and which fighter is getting deducted and uh, blah. Stop. Stop. Frank Warren, go sit down somewhere, man. Cut it out. The Ukrainians are showing they want to fight. And uh, one of the guys that was interviewing Frank Warren was saying, like, with all these negotiations and how things keep switching up, he's like, you got to leave Oleksandr Usyk with some dignity. You can't just keep cutting him out, cutting him out. And this guy's got more belts than Fury. Why are you trying to make him look like he's a club fighter or something? This dude moved up from cruiserweight to heavyweight and got the biggest guy in the heavyweight division with his track shoes on, it appears. Now, if Tyson Fury isn't ducking Alexander Usyk, then apparently we all have blinders on and we don't see what looks like the obvious. Boxing is a trip, man. You got to really like this sport 
to stick with it as long as I've been sticking with it. It takes true grit. It takes endurance. It's like we have to train like fighters just to keep up our interest in the sport because there's so much nonsense going on. Anyway, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching LSR Forever. The reason I do this and be fearless, especially you, Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah.